So you're trying to accomplish your first pull up. Jamie, pull up, pull up, pull up. Um, pull up that picture of like, see if you could pull up one and see how many. Well, today you'll learn the fundamentals to accomplishing your first pull up with just a few exercises that will lead you to conquering it. Pull ups are a great foundation to your fitness journey and are just a staple in any fitness test in schools or in the military. Pull ups can transfer over to rope climbs, rock climbing, or even transfer to any row. As a kid, I always struggled with pull-ups because of being overweight and never knowing where to start. I'll show you how I began to progress and how I worked up to each step. Step 1. Step 1 is to hang on the bar. Okay listen, I know it sounds easy, but a lot of people struggle with holding on to the bar and their grip sometimes gives out before they even reach the top of the movement. Hang on the bar for as long as you can or at least for 30 seconds for 5 sets. Once you complete this, you're ready for step 2. Step two is to do a scapula pull. Once hanging on the bar becomes easy, you want to do the scapula pulls. Before getting on the bar, practice retracting your scapula. Pretend someone has an object on your back and you are trying to hold it in between your scapula. Once you do that, hop on the bar and just retract your scapula. This gets you in the first position of your pull up. If you have been doing pull ups and you never practice this, most likely you'll have be able to do more pull ups after completing these. You should shoot for 3 sets of 10 reps. This will indeed maximize your pull up. Step 3. Step 3 is to do a negative pull up. Just like a negative push up, a negative pull up will help you use the same muscle groups needed for the pull up. Except ne negative pull ups are eccentric contractions only. Whereas a normal pull up is a concentric and an eccentric contraction. Grab a chair or a box of some sort and place yourself at the top of the bar with your scapula retracted and shoulders depressed. Once you're in the top position, lift your feet off the chair and hold the position for a two second count. Then lower yourself for five seconds until you get to the bottom fully lengthened. You want to do about three sets of 10 to 12 reps before moving on to the next step. Step four. Step four is to either do an assisted pull up with bands or a bodyweight row. These two movements help you to practice the concentric movement you need for the pull up. They make the concentric movement not as heavy so you can focus on the technique. We will first start off with the bands. With the bands, place the band over the bar, then pull one of the ends of the band through the band and pull tight. Then place either your knee, or to make it easier, your foot, and then do steps one and two. Once you retract your scapula, pull your elbows in as if you were trying to put them in your pocket and squeeze your back. This will help you with the bottom position becoming easier and the top position to become more difficult as the bands start to loosen as you get to the top position. Now for the body weight row. You can use an Olympic bar in the squat rack, chairs, rings, even a rope to perform this exercise. What you want to do is to grab the bar at the same position you would the pull up and lean back. Then retract the scapula and pull yourself up the same way as the band pull up by trying to pull your elbows up back. You can decrease the amount of weight being pulled by raising the bar or walking back a few steps, making sure that you are focusing on the scapular retraction. You should be able to do four sets of 10 reps with good form before either decreasing the band tension or lowering the bar. Step five. Step five is to do your first pull up. If you are having a difficult time after mastering the progressions, just add more sets to the progression exercises. You can also do drop sets with each exercise to burn out the muscles needed for the pull up. The best way to maximize the progression is if you're able to do the greasing the groove method. Simply doing these exercises throughout the day while on top of your regular workout routine will definitely help you get closer to your first pull up. Question of the day, what is the exercise that you have the most trouble with? Comment your answer down below. Also, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more help on exercise tutorials and also my fitness journey into becoming a marathon weightlifting hybrid. Have a great day and see you guys in the next video. Peace.